sacrifice, sacrifice and discipline. Um, you know, being a, having doing both of my careers at the same time. Uh, you know, it's, when I first landed the role with BMF, um, I thought it was just going to be you know one episode, one little scene. Um, and from that, it turned to me filming for six months. You know, I'm in multiple episodes. My character just continued to evolve. So throughout that time, I had to turn down almost 10 different contracts for NFL teams so that I could finish filming. And then once I finished, uh, I had maybe two to three weeks to finish kind of like getting my body ready for training camp. But that's kind of how I balanced it, you know, just sacrifice, not letting either one, you know, interfere. But, you know, it, it definitely did. Have you had any chance to interact with 50 throughout, you know, your acting career or while you've been on the show? And if so, what was that like? I haven't, man. Um, 50 only came on set like twice. And um, it was before I got casted. And then when I was on set in Detroit, he came, but it wasn't the day I was filming. But um, I heard he's an amazing person. He's always been one of my idols just based off of things that we can relate to. Like both of us having to be wired down for months and just him his entrepreneurship and having his hands so many different things, I can relate that way. So um, he's definitely an icon of my eyes. What are your plans post-career? Do you see yourself continuing acting? Do you want to executive produce one day? I want to do both, man. I want to do a lot. I want to write. I mean, I'm a, I'm a creator, you know, like I love to act, but, you know, I want to executive produce some things. I got some things in work now that I'm ready to pitch at this moment. You know, I got a, <laughs> I got a clothing line. I got, you know, businesses, lounges, you name it. So, uh, that's where I'm headed, you know, post career, but I'm still playing. So uh, I don't know. I told myself 10 years in the NFL, I'm, at, I'm going to see year eight. So we'll see. I want to know your top five, if you can't do five, then three of people you want to work with in the industry. People I want to work with. Yes. Um, but I do want to pay homage. So can I kind of mix it up though? I want to. Yeah, that's cool. All right, cool. So I mean, like, Starting off with people that kind of inspired me for sure. Uh, like growing up, my mom always, and I had no idea who it was, but she would always tell me about like Sidney Poitier, you know what I mean? When I first started acting, she's like, you need to study him. You know what I'm saying? So I've been, you know, studying him, watching interviews and stuff from him. Uh, Denzel, of course. Um, and a, a secret, I mean, not a secret, but one that people wouldn't expect, uh, Tupac, man. I'm a huge fan of Tupac and his, uh, his acting career, man. He's a hell of an actor. And then if I were to fast forward to, Current day, uh, I'm a big fan of two actors, uh, Damson Idris and uh, Jonathan Majors. Those two guys right there are killing it right now. What's your yeah. advice or what words do you have for people who are looking at you or looking up to you and have aspirations of doing two things that they genuinely love, but are worried that they won't either have the time, attention or support to make both things actually a reality? I always tell people, man, utilize God given abilities, you know, that you have, you know, don't put them on the back burner, man, and do what makes you happy. Um, I mean, that's what I'm doing right now. I knew it was going to take sacrifices, but acting truly makes me happy and playing ball makes me happy. And if that's something that you want to do, just do it, um, regardless of what it is.